Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and get away from their menu. And welcome back to some more Paper Mario 64. As in the last episode, we went up to Shooting Star Summit, talked with the stars. We got the mission that we already kind of figured out. We've got to go save the world. And oh yeah, we saw Princess Peach. She talked to Bowser. She talked to this kid. This kid came to help us. So apparently, his version of helping is just smacking us in the head instead of giving us the cookie he was going to give Princess Peach. It's like, oh well, Princess Peach didn't want the cookie, so here, Mario, take a cookie. This slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie may be of some use. Mother 3 references go. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, hey. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. Yes, thank yourself. Your navigational skills are excellent. How do you do? I'm Plink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, where did I put it? Uh, next to the cookie? Yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. You got the lucky star. Star-shaped pendant. Let's use action commands. And now the game really kicks off because combat ain't nothing until you get action commands. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? No! I've got it. This is important, Mario. I think you want to know about this. No, I already understand. Oh, okay, great. I don't even have to explain because I'll do it for him. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Yeah, double damage powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are! Wait, what was that? That was terrible. Oh, okay, it wasn't even Cammy, so it was like, I didn't even mess up the voice, it's just that guy. But I'm not giving him this weird voice again. What? It can't be you were following me here? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa, she'll shower you a phrase, she'll give me a raise. I'll get all the money, and go to the club, and get all the chicks. JK, there's only Club 64, and I can't date the chick there, because she'd probably slap me. Here I come. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, but do I ever. Anyways, action command time. Down there at the bottom, it tells you how to use it. And that nice popping up that you saw when I hit him... That's what explains that you successfully did an action command. So every attack has an action command. If you pull it off, you will increase or you will increase your damage. Sometimes it's absurd though. Like on the basic attacks, basic attacks right now deal one damage. If I land the action command, they deal two, so that's double. And they will keep doing that. Because once we get the second, there's three levels of power for your basic attacks. Second level, you deal two damage. You hit, meaning that your two hits equal up to four, and then you get six. It's really, really good to use action commands. And some of them are really overpowered. We'll talk about those if we get to them. But anyways, this is Magic Cooper. Magic Coopers use magic rods. Never would have guessed. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. Better take these guys seriously. Put up shell. And you can also... Yeah, you can also use action commands to guard. For example, what I did there, right before you get hit, if you hit A, you will decrease the damage you take by one. And the sequel adds in something that this game doesn't have, so I'm not going to talk about it, even though I might accidentally try to pull it off a few times. But there's no super guard, so I'm not even going to try. I'll wind up accidentally trying, but yeah, enough talking about it. Well done, Mario. You're strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Yes, I pwn a noob, and he's like, you'll be able to beat the final boss. Great. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. And give her a cookie. If she ever wants the cookie. I mean, really, I baked this just for her. She should take the cookie. Stop being so ungrateful. Well, Mario, see you later. Away I fly with a cookie. Also, I, I like what like what shape are those in the background? Like, there's just giant boulders in the background with pentagon faces. I don't even get it. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyways, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. Because I can't do it. All I can do is bake cookies. <laughs> I'm going to run that joke into the ground. Twink has a cookie, and he wants to give the cookie to Princess Peach, and Princess Peach won't take the cookie. I'm going to try to remember that joke. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. We gotta get down to business. Get things going. 
I said the game really starts now, and it really does. We got action commands, and now we get to go leave town. Dude's still standing there. He's never going to move. He's never going to move, I'm telling you. Never, ever going to move. And we have a toad waiting for us when we leave the gate. Oh, Mario. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him in his house. Was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's not very social. He's a bit eccentric, too. When he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Oh, well. Now I wait. Okay, nothing. For some reason, I thought there was something in the tree, but here's Merlon's house. Merlon is out! Why do you keep knocking? I'm telling you he's out. Smack. <laughs> he just smacks us in the face. What the? Why is somebody sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Of course it does. I'm the hero. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. Been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Can't you see the future or something? Like you should know I was going to be here. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. Not Merla. Is <laughs> My name is Merlon, not Merlin. I am a wizard, but not that wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, you gotta pay me ten bucks. Fork it over. No. There are other things of which I must speak. It's a very long story, but I'll try to shorten. Where should I start? Start at the end. Start at the end. Oh, no. It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summon, as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, the great appeared knife standing face to face. Then, the far away, the bias, was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in. But our hearts were full of darkness. Kingdom hearts as light. <laughs> I don't even know. And then so... Mario's asleep. Even he doesn't care. But Goombario is listening intently. And that's all that matters. That was like that scene in Forrest Gump. It's like, he starts talking, microphone shuts off. They get the microphone back on. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh, hey. Mario, were you listening to me? Yeah? Listening to you about as well as I listen to Kodak Calls and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Not at all. Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I am able to help you. Get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Ten bucks. Seriously, fork it over this time. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible, but... According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Cooper Brothers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> To reach the Cooper Brothers' fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Sounds good to me. Goombario, let's get... Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and make the reference anyways. Goombario, let's get scratching. <laughs> I love that song. Moody Shuffle, Jet Set Radio, OST. Look it up. He said go east. Get out of my way. 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 I'm going to kill you. Hitch. Oh, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Stop it. Hit. Really? I can hit this guy, but I can't hit the other one. Fine then. Headshot. There we go. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Cooper Brothers Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. For you. Don't even think about it. Yeah. You guys look malicious. And besides, he said don't go do anything. As TV Trope says, do not do this cool thing means go do this cool thing. Merlin, I got ten bucks. Just kidding. Not forking over ten bucks. I know where to go, so we don't need him. Come again? Strange toes blocking the east side of Toad Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Something you've never been heard of. Never. We don't have the Mafia. We just have the Yakuza. And they don't do that kind of thing. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Also, just a warning. A lot of people get stuck right there if you've never played this game before. Because they'll, like, come right here and talk to him. If you talk to him on the other side of the ball, that's going to make him open up his shop. If you ever have to talk to him directly, you've got to go around the table. It's really weird, but you got to go around the table. And we've been standing there talking, and we're still catching up with him. Oh, right. I forgot about this. If you hit left on the GameCube controller, you can do the spin dash. 
I completely forgot about that until now. Because the second game doesn't have it. But you can get places really fast using spin jumping combos. Because all you do is spin and jump and spin and jump and you can get places fast whenever you need to. But you usually don't. It's just there for fun, which is why they took it out of the second one. Are these the strange toads you were talking about? Gangsters. Told you you can't pass. You shall not pass. Take off. Huh. You aren't toads, are you? Well, they look like toads to me. They just look like jerks. Oh, uh, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging about when we totally don't have malicious looks in our eyes or totally dark coloring that shouldn't exist. We got our contrast wrong this morning. Reveal your true selves. Analyze. Never mind, Thunder God. Huh, just as I thought. You're the Cooper Brothers. How, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks, black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Cooper Brothers away! Mario, this imposter is for none other than the Cooper Brothers. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Cooper Brothers Fortress. Oh, by the way, you owe me ten bucks. Service is rendered and all that. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune that I haven't revealed. To get to the Cooper Brothers Fortress, you'll need help from a boo, a boo shelled Koopa. Yes, he has a ghost fur shell. That was actually a really good slip up. Now, Blue Shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. By the way, you owe me ten bucks. Chapter One. Storming the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Yay. I think if you wait at this menu... I forget which game it is. It's either this one or the sequel. I think it's this one. If you wait for a while at the menu, it switches the music to something cool, but... I don't feel like it. This is my Let's Play. I don't have to show everything in the game. We've already got Chuck of Conroy for that one. But anyways, new enemy, Koopas. I'm gonna ignore him for now. Up until I get the badge that lets you see enemy HP, I'm going to be tattling everything I can. Or at least until we get more party members. That's a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows them, they're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, attack power 1, defense power 1. And here we get into defense. If they have defense, your attacks deal less damage, end of story. However, there's always, like, there's pretty much always a weakness to get around defenses. For example, the Koopas. If you can flip them over by jumping on their heads, their defense is zero, and they can't attack, and they have to waste turns trying to get up. Like, really, you're OP. Just jump on them. Problem solved. You can flip him with a pow block or a jump attack. And that solves everything. See, look at that. He has to waste a turn trying to get up. He doesn't even get up. It's so sad. And now I had bonk. 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 He's like a force of nature. All the bonk everywhere. Four star points. Totally worth it. Alright. Coins. No. I don't want to deal with you. No, fine, I'll deal with you. Yay. There's two Goombas. Let's see, what do we have here? Dizzy attack. Delivers a blow that makes the enemy dizzy and unable to move. You can use that. That's a thing for your spin attack. If you do the dash, spin dash, it'll hit the enemy and like make them stay in place so you can just run away. And Fright Jar. Makes enemies flee. I don't like it. Because when the enemy flees, you don't get experience points, just like when you run. How block, two damage, flips enemies. Aha, switch. Jump. And a bridge pops out of nowhere. Because Paper Mario logic. Free attack. Simple, free money. No problems. Oh, there's an enemy up there. I see you up there. I see you up there. No. I'm not getting paid enough to deal with this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Ah, I'm getting tired of the four star points thing. Sleepy sheep, get another one. What's down here? Ah, can't get that yet, but we're going to be able to get it soon. Break blocks, let's see. Actually, 35, yeah. Not even worth fighting anything at the moment. 
I could sit here all day and just fight things, and it wouldn't get me very far. What do we have here? Toe Town left, Cooper Brothers Fortress right, Koopa Village down. Well, we needed to get help from the village, so let's go to the village. Let me use spin jumping to get there faster. Let's see. Anything in these blocks? Aha! Destroy them all and you get Attack FXB. Let's see what that sounds like. I know I don't use it, but I just want to see. That is so hilarious. It's one, it's one of those things. I forgot what they're called. But no, I'm sticking with my star because that is the greatest noise. Uh-oh, that music sounds weird. Can it be? You Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. Wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. I mean, that music already warned me about it, but here, you tell me what's up. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? I didn't know the Spartans were here. This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this, and I'm speaking pictures. And Mario's looking at the picture, and that's really weird. Mean guys, they're really naughty. Okay. Boink. Headshot. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell! I wasn't aware that anyone other than Mario was allowed to steal Koopa shells. And even 64 was the only one to establish that, and 64 was kind of weird about that. Oh thank you Mario, I owe you one. Just can't walk around without my shell, I'll talk about embarrassing even though I have a t-shirt on. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, alright? Or you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. <laughs> That's just great. No, no. No, get back here. I'm going to kill you all. There, get your shell back. Yay. Oh, you're the best. Thanks very much. No problem. Stuck in a tree. Cat stuck in a tree? No, nope, my shell's stuck in a tree, though. I can help you too, anyways. Thanks, Mario. This shell was made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? You look terrible. You I mean, you look like everyone else. Not terrible, but... I really... You can use with some more anti-aliasing. Yeah, okay. Well, there's a save block, so this is the perfect time to end an episode. So this has been Jet Leo 1, and I will see you next time as we continue solving the fuzzy problem in this town. Like, really, guys. Stop freaking bouncing around. Get over here. Aha! You can get money for beating him up. Okay, anyways, this has been Jet Leo 1. I'll see you next time. No, get back here. Ugh. See you then.